Hey everyone, I'm Roma Tönnesen, and welcome to Curated Conversations by Curated Today, the official podcast series of the Middle East's premier retail and consumer insights hub, Curated Today. Founded in 2020 by Judy Dagestani, Curated Today is dedicated to making insightful, high-value, industry-focused information available to you on the go. Curated Conversations extends that brand ethos, addressing real-life challenges and trending topics with some of the region's most prominent movers and shakers who share their knowledge, experiences and stories to make sure you have everything that you need to navigate the changes we face in the industry today. Real insights, real experts and real conversations. That's our promise. Prepare to be inspired. Hey everyone, welcome back to Bite Size Conversations. Last week, I was joined by Raj Malhotra, partner at SoulDXB, the homegrown cultural platform that has gone on to amass global recognition and acclaim. As we were talking, I was made aware that 2021 marks SoulDXB's 10-year anniversary. So of course, I couldn't help but ask Raj to share five of the key lessons that he has learned along the way that he wishes he knew at the start of his journey with Soul DXB. Here's what he had to say. Five things that I've learned after joining Soul that I wish I knew when I started. Like we said, it's, instead of five, it'll probably be three, actually. But, um, <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I would say embracing uncertainty and learning to live with it and not assuming that if something's uncertain, it will always fall on the wrong side. Because I think embracing uncertainty comes with a sense of optimism, believing in luck and knowing that hard work is super important, but that, you know, you don't live and operate in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. And maybe that helps you let go a little bit. And probably the most important thing I've learned since I've joined the company is understanding who to listen to for advice. And knowing that a technical qualification is not the only reason that you should be listening to someone. And it's not just a function of of being within the organization, but also a function of getting a little bit older and seeing people's track record for advice in your life. And actually, one more thing, the last thing I would say is that, you know, really embracing the idea that not everything has to last forever. And if that is a foundation on something you believe, then you can build for the best possible quality as opposed to just longevity. Is there any habit that you have managed to introduce into your life? It's been a long journey so over the last nine years yeah. that you have felt has really helped kind of keep you on track in terms of where you want to go on a longer perspective. Sleeping. <laughs> yeah. That's, really? that's Yeah, absolutely. You're such a New Yorker. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've, I've, uh, I really used to not value sleep. I would do uh, up to four in the morning every day, be up at like 8.30 or 9. And bringing a full night's rest into my life has changed work for me. And in addition to that, what I'd also say is like, just trusting in my partners on a regular basis and checking in with them, not only professionally, but emotionally, for each other has, I think, allowed us to have a support system that most people can't ever look to in their professional life. And I think that makes us better at what we do. I couldn't agree more. I have that with my uh, partner at Curated. She's actually one of my really, really good friends. Um, She was a good friend when we started. Now we've become super close, but it is because we work really well together as a team. And it is about exactly, as you said, checking in professionally, but also personally and just having those honest conversations when they need to be had. Yeah, really, really important. It's a game changer, and I think most people don't know it till they try it. For me, having someone who gets exactly what I'm going through, that yeah. was life-changing. You know, It really changes the experience, and uh, knowing they have my back as well. Yeah, and there's a lot of people in all of our lives that are there for us, to support us. But it does come down to that point you're making, which is, You can have unconditional love and support from your friends, your family, your better halves, but no one can really understand the pressure of what you're going through other than the people that are in it with you. And that's invaluable. Can't lose sight of that. 
We hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, please don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a rating below. Also, make sure you head over to www.curatedtoday.com and sign up for the official Curated Today newsletter to have a timely regional insights and data delivered directly to your inbox. Thanks for tuning in.